Battery check. Okay. Viewing 58%. Distance check. Okay, viewing 26.0 kilometers. I, I would expect 60. Kind of less than with the high capacity packs, depending on how you ride. Uh, you saw how I was riding, so yeah, yeah. It's very, very windy today. It's just very windy. It's insane. Ah, uh, man, I was like really close a few times, you know, to losing it. The tire, you know, I, I took it down from 26.5 to 25.5. I should take it down more. I say for high speed, safe, high speed cruising, you should take your, your weight in kilos divided by three and then take away 10 percent you know even take away 20 because i mean i was nowhere close to hitting a curb or anything like that but when you start you know the motorcycle tire in particular it's, it's a lot stiffer it's harder it's not really yielding you know so it's gonna it's gonna do some some shifting and depending on your pad config i'm running the clark pads pretty tight because i don't have spiked pedals so, you know, I want to keep my feet on the pedals, but every movement is causing me to sort of steer the wheel, you know, with a, with a foot lock, which is something I normally like to do, but I also like to be able to not to do it and not having it being, being done for me. So man, man, man. I would, I would probably want uh, the Kendo Street, the K242. Definitely spike pedals and not Clark pads. Not Clark pads, because the Clark pads are a good 30 mile an hour pad. You know, over that, you're going to start compromising in forward tilt and stuff like that. And then you're going to lose break. You're, you're going to lose braking with a too aggressive braking. Uh, a, a too aggressive braking posture which will work against you and then you know the acceleration and just like the stiffness and so on when, when you're hitting like stuff and you're reacting hardly onto the clark pads where they're they're not particularly yielding you're just transferring it into the yaw steering of the wheel it's like geez at over 40 miles an hour damn 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 so yeah but uh, you know, besides that, it's an RS8, it, RSHS fast fast wheel with uh, with a model cell pack. Right? It, it's not ridiculously heavy. I, I wouldn't mind if it was heavier, uh, and uh, it, it it would be heavier with some better pedals. Now look at that! Look at that! I guess I'll move. Guess I'll move because he's gonna come on through. Amazing! Amazing! We can do it, guys. Come on! Come on! Come on, man. What are you waiting for? What you waiting for, man? I've gotten this far now. And now a car is going to come and say, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, I got all day. Ninety-two volts, sixty-three percent. That's that's pretty correct. Average speed of potatoes.
So yeah, maybe try them with frying pads to get some uh, girth to the wheel. It was so windy when I hit the wheel reported 67 point potato. So I, I may possibly have gotten beeps and tilt back. It, it is possible. Then you're like there, you know, is it wind or is it tilt back? And I said, well, whichever one it is, you're not going to defeat it. That's for sure. You're not going to defeat the wind and you're not going to defeat the tilt back. So maybe just see it as a, as a sign to slow down, you know. Because um, I, don't, I don't know how many of you guys want to ride this fast, you know. But we're back to the thing, you know, where it can be confusing between a gust of wind and a, and a tilt back. But as a tilt back becomes stronger, the more we push into it, then maybe at some point we have to respect something, right? Well, this was great. I was glad that I could share this moment with you. It was really nice. I'm going to meet Victor later. We're going to work out. So I guess I'll charge this wheel. I'll go home now and charge this wheel. And uh, he has a RSHS with uh, high capacity cells, you know. But it, it, it's just, it's really nice to rip on this wheel and you don't have to worry a bit about it, you know, just insanely sagging, just really, really sagging, like these 4P configs do, you know. They just sag, man. You can be at half battery and you can sag down to battery beeps. That's like, oof, man, man. Well, I hope you enjoyed this scene as much as I did. Now I really feel sorry for this woman if she's going to ride over this thing just as it goes up. Okay. She, she didn't slowly get catapulted to the moon. That's great. That's great, man. I'll come back later and see if it's still up. Or down. Or something. feedback that I'm getting is the feedback that I get that close to 45 miles an hour
win. Just to win. I even heard that guy coasting down the hill. I heard like a high frequency whining noise, and it was like, well, I didn't know the RS made that noise. Lovely. Lovely. I could go for a soda now. Oh, the ripping road. Ripping, ripping road, under construction, ripping road. There are some interesting obstacles here and there, you know, some leaves, some, some vegetation, a rock. What happens if you high speed turn? Will you lose traction? Uh, assume that you will. Assume that you will.
Take out the jacket. And you're out clubbing. Peace.